This is my new laptop, a Dell Latitude 7400 2-in-1. And I'm going to be changing the hard drive on this machine here. So first I need to sign in. It's trying to find my face. There it is. Okay. Um, so the computer I bought is right here on the Dell website. When I got it, it was on sale for $1,999, quite a bit less. But unfortunately, it only came with a 256 gigabyte hard drive. Um, Dell does offer one right here on their website, a bigger one, one terabyte for $509.99. But that's a little expensive, so I went to Amazon and got me exactly the same one for $300. Here it is. That's what it looks like, and we're going to put this in. But before we do that, um, we'll have to create a recovery drive so we can get Windows back onto the new drive once it's in there. So in order to do that, I got myself one of these little thumb drives here, and <clears throat> that's what we're going to use for the recovery drive. All you need to do is type in create recovery drive down here in the search box and it will come up somewhere you click enter and <clears throat> click your way through all these dialog boxes and once you did that it starts looking for your thumb drive that you just put in and there it is it found it so now we click next and it warns you that everything's going to be erased which is fine so we just hit create and now it starts making a recovery drive this will take a while so I'll come back once this is all done okay so we're finished here so this is it Make sure this works before you exchange the hard drive just try it out by running it and make sure that the Windows system, the recovery system, is on there. Okay, so now we're going to shut this thing down and turn it over and open it up. I'll put it on a little pad here so my new computer won't scratch. Um, on the back, uh, Dell computers are really nice in this way. They're easy to open up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. So you all have to just have to open these up, unscrew them, and off comes the lid. The screws do not come all the way out, so don't try to pull them out. They are attached to the lid. All you need to do is just loosen them up, and once you got them all opened then you can take the lid off. To do that, you need one of these guys here. I prefer those over a screwdriver because they don't scratch the machine. And you just wedge at the hinges right there. And then you just move along the edges here and the whole thing will come off. So Dell is really nice in this regard. They open up very easily, unlike other machines from other companies. Okay, so here's what the computer looks like on the inside. The SSD drive is right up here in the left corner under this black cover. That's what we're going to replace. Unfortunately, you cannot replace the RAM because it is soldered onto the main board, but you can replace the hard drive. Um, Dell told me that for my particular model, I can only uh, use a one terabyte drive they said the system cannot handle more than one terabyte i don't know if that is true um, but i didn't want to try it out at this time if you w would like to try it you can do that just get a two terabyte see if it works and if not you'll have to go back to one terabyte okay but first we want to uh, unplug the battery right here so make sure that's you take this thing off um, ideally, you should be wearing gloves and be grounded, but if you're not loaded up with static electricity and your hair aren't sticking out, then you should be fine. I've been doing this for many, many years and not once uh, busted an electronic part yet. Okay, so there are two screws that you need to take off right here. And 
once you got those off you just flip open that little cover like so and there it is the SSD hard drive that we're going to replace it looks more like a RAM stick but uh, so not at all like the SSD drives used to look but that's what they look like these days so just take it out there it is and we'll replace that with the one terabyte version right here so let's take this out see what it looks like looks exactly the same straight from Amazon and we're going to put this in and see if it works so this is all a little tricky for me to do here because I'm doing it all with one hand while I'm holding my camera with the other hand but there it is okay Make sure it's seated properly and get the cover back on right and replace the screws. I've got this little magnetic screwdriver here that holds my screws, which is makes it a little easier. Put them back in. Don't over tighten them. And uh, that's pretty much it so it's real easy as you can see once that's done then uh, we gotta move over to our battery again and plug that back in before we close the lid all right so that's done and that's it get the lid back on make sure it clips on to the to, uh, it clips on properly into all the notches and once you got that then you just put the screws back in and you're ready to go so we'll start this thing up now with the new hard drive uh, press f12 to make sure the PC will boot from the USB stick. Let's see if we got the right boot drive here. Yep, that's it. That's the USB stick that we just created. So we hit enter and let's see what happens. It should start up now and give you the option to reinstall Windows. Okay, there it is. All right, that's it. So all you have to do now is walk through these uh, options here, recover from a drive. I'm gonna choose the top one here because it's faster and that's it. This will take some time now, so I'm not gonna put all this on the video, but the computer works fine and it's I got a lot more space now with my new one terabyte drive.